damn it. The fridge thing again? Come on. Thought we were done with that fridge thing. I guess not, right? If you're new here, my name is Brandon Thrasher and welcome to come on into the garage. Have a seat. We're going to quick dirty in a hurry final take of this bad mama jammer right here. This is the Trivisa Knives Lynx 04. And, yeah, it's, it's, the action is that good. So, without further ado, spec time. <clears throat> this is a titanium coating, stone washed finish, 14C, 28N blade steel, black micarta handle. Uh, it is a liner lock. The hardness is 58 to 60 HRC. I kind of assume that, and I'll tell you why later. Ball bearing, it runs on bearings, sorry. Overall length, 8.46 inches or 215 millimeters. Blade length of 3.66 inches or 93 millimeters. Close length of 4.72 inches or 120 millimeters. Blade width is 0 0.98 of an inch or 25 millimeter. Blade thickness is 0 0.09. Point, which is 2.5 millimeters that's going to come into effect as well net weight is 3.85 ounces or 109 grams yeah guys here we are on the down low the down diddly diddly glow for the good look at the Trivisa 04 the black micarta here, it, it's decent micarta. It's a little better than Civivi's, but it's not great, not perfect by any means, but it, it's decent, it got a decent, it got, it has a decent fill. Has a nice micarta back spacer. Has pretty standard, relevant pocket clip, even like, you know, you see on a lot of cheaper knives. I'm not real fond of the Trivisa, you know, billboarding on it but it is what it is got decent jimping on the flipper tab feels good doesn't have any here which is fine because this is can be push buttoned or it can be light switched works great both ways but what i like is yeah i can reverse flip it because of this coated full flat ground blade so um, let's get into it here. Got ample access to the lock bar. It works very well. There's no problem with that. Action is obviously supreme. She is tits up dead center. Uh, it has, they're not proud liners, but they're not countersunk liners. It does have a little bit of milling. You can see a hole here. And when you look on this side here, yes, you can see there is milling on those uh, stainless steel liners. This is 14C28N. They say it's titanium coated and stone washed. Uh, I don't exactly know what titanium coating means. But as you can see, here's that very thin blade stock. And here's where it gets iffy, right? I bent the tip. You can see it. It is bent. That happened from uh, four foot drops and downward throws. It is bent. It didn't break. It didn't bend massively. It just tweaked it, kind of rolled. No, no, it didn't roll. That's just something on there. Kind of just bent the tip. Now, I knew that was gonna happen. It's just too thin, right? Way too thin of a tip for that elongated blade. All in all, I've carried this knife for literally like three weeks. Um, 
and it's been good for all tasks except for obviously hard work hard work now don't get me wrong this thing will feather stick uh no question about it i've done it once i will show you again that it has no problem cutting into wood right it gets big bites as a matter of fact you have to really like prime what you're doing to get the smaller ones so you're not going too deep but it'll feather stick uh, it's very sharp, man, and that's no joke. Comes that way. I have not touched the blade at all with, with a strop, with a stone, anything. Um, I did take this apart. It is very simple design. Um, so, yeah. What am I going to say? Well, because it's so thin, right? It's extremely light carry. I would say it's going to produce most of your daily tasks. It'll open boxes, cut tape, all that crap. No problem. Not a hard use knife. Let's show you a little measurements. Here's the CVB Elementum. Everybody knows the Elementum. As you can see, this knife dwarfs the Elementum. Way longer in a handle, way longer in a blade. Uh, QSP, because everybody knows the QSP. Also dwarfs the QSP, way longer than the blade and the handle. This is a large knife, guys. This is uh, the Kaiser Guru. Same thing, right? I don't even know why I threw that. Let's get a bigger knife up there. This is the Spartan Blades Aster. It's a full-size knife, and this knife is still longer than the blade and longer than the handle. So, bam. Bring out a big boy. This is the Leon Ma Field Duty Carbon Fiber Bolster Lock. Blade length is close. The Field Duty is just a hair longer. Um, but the handle on this is a hair longer than the Field Duty. So you can see it's not a small knife by any means, right? Here's what I'm going to say. I bet the tip. I believe that a couple more four foot drops where it's only going so deep in, like there, it's gonna wobble because this blade is so thin, right? And you're probably gonna break a tip by doing stuff like that. It's hard downward throws. You don't sink it, you catch it, it's probably gonna break the tip. It is 14C28 in, and the tip didn't break, it just bent. And that's the thing, when it did that, I thought, okay, that means the HRC on this is not higher than 60, right? Because usually, if it's pretty high, uh, that would have just snapped. Like, full on, just, it would have just snapped. Um, I'm going to put the price right here so you guys can see. This is a very budget-friendly 14C28N in micarta knife. And I, that's what I liked about it. That's what drew me in was materials for price and what you're getting think about length everything this is a large knife and you're getting these materials for that price it's kind of a home run in a sense when it comes to this i just wish the blade stock was did not thin down so far on the tip stayed up here and they swedged it maybe um but i get it now you know what that means that means back to the top so i can give you the final go the final joe the final blow yeah 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 that's what i'm talking about back up here in the land of the living so what do i think about the trivisa 04 well i think value for dollar is extremely good here i think the action is hard to beat um i think the build quality is there i think the product overall the you know the micarta the materials the micarta the 14 c 28n i think that's there for the price i think it's hard to beat it's not a hard use knife i'm gonna tell you that right now not a hard use knife it's a knife that you could use and you know any knife that's sharp if you need and you're stuck somewhere like in the woods 
Uh, you can make a fire with this. I, even though it's not a hard use knife, you could get away and be able to get the fire to survive. <clears throat> I believe you can do that literally with anything with an edge. But what I'm saying is, is it's not the one that you take out and you're like, a, this, however, I think is you, you're fishing, right? You want a gut, you want a scale. This knife is primo for that because it's so thin and stabby and slicey. Um, cut an apple. Yeah, it's going to cut an apple. It's going to cut an apple. It's going to skin an apple. It's going to... Very good. Game skinning? Uh, probably not. That's not really the blade shape for that. Um, anything in your office, this thing is going to annihilate it because the tip is so thin and sharp. Um, although you'd have to be like this because it is like literally straight, you know. Um, but as for like, yeah, like uh, a good a good food prep knife. This would be an excellent food prep knife if you don't need the belly. It's got a little bit of belly, but... If you really just are looking to like, you know, fillet fish, um, and there's so much you could do with this food prep wise. It's, uh, it'd be really good for that. As for an everyday use knife, sure, if you want this big of a blade, almost four inches, this large of a knife because you have a big hand, then yeah, by all means, the, the, uh, the flipper choil, as Kev calls it, which Right there, it is usable. You just have to be careful because this thing is sharp as shit. <gasps> oh, sorry, hiccup. Uh, all in all, I think for the money, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you're looking for a beastly knife, this isn't it. I'm, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, take your chances, right? But if you're looking for a pretty cool EDC, not very heavy. Um, of course, not the lightest thing in the world great for like you know food prep and and your normal office kind of stuff or you want something that's super stabby super slicey uh yeah this is this is the knife this this definitely the knife action is just this does not have the strongest detent which is probably why it's a little easier to flick as well but I, it's i can't fail it if i want to fail it right like it's hard, but you can do it. But I'm telling you, you just normal flick, it flies out, man. No joke. Every time. Doesn't matter if it's a light switch, a push button, it's out. So, yeah. A newer company, at least new to me. I haven't heard of them yet. Uh, just barely ran across them. I think it's a great design. I think... It can be improved on? Yeah, for sure. Almost everything can be improved on. Do they have improvements they need to make? Yes. If you want your knife to be more used and want to be used by everybody, um, then yes. Yeah, yeah, don't thin the tip down so much. Like, let's make it a little thicker, a little, a little more broad. Use a swedge if that's what needs to be. But um, there's not too many complaints. Like, I... I uh, Deep carry is extremely deep, and I mean extremely deep, you're not going to see anything. It actually goes a little bit above, so, yeah. Well, I think, I think the try this, uh, is a farm? No. It's a great food prep knife, guys. That's what I think. I'll link... I'll leave links in the description below where you can purchase this. You can go through my affiliate. It would help the channel if you do go through my affiliate and you want to purchase this knife. Sweet. Um, other than that, remember, it's not a hard-use knife. It's not going to be for getting out there and, and chopping and throwing and anything like that. But it's a cool knife. Anyway, guys, that's at the end of the end of the road for Thrash Man on this one. You guys get out there, do something positive for yourself, do something positive for somebody else, make yourself happy by making somebody else happy. And I'll see you in the next one.